Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Faraz Jamil. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Cambridge. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do well in section one. So I ended up with a score of 6.6 .6 in section one, which is relatively good. It's about the top 6%. So I'm going to, to go through my three-step method to try and ace section one. Now, step one of my three-step method was finding out about the structure of section one. So what I did was I went through the official resources, and, but I'll summarize it quickly here. Section one consists of 32 questions. 16 are similar to verbal reasoning from the UCAT. So these are the thinking skills type question or critical thinking type questions. The other 16 are problem solving type questions. This is the most similar to decision making in the UCAT, but it's a bit more difficult. So that was step one of my plan, finding out what section one actually is and also finding about the question structure. Now step two of my plan was the most long-winded and my course at sigmamed.co.uk that I've made with my friend Hamza who also goes to Cambridge could really help you with step two of the plan and that's finding out what exam techniques you need to use to do well in section one. Section one timing is not so much of an issue but some questions can be very difficult. Specifically, with the thinking skills questions, there's some verbal cues that you can tell from the passage that instantly guarantee you the correct answer. There's also various things like strategies to finding flaws, strategies to finding conclusions, and strategies to detecting assumptions, and this can be found in more detail within my course. So by far, I found this the most long-winded part of the process, as I had to scour the internet to look for patterns in what questions come up, especially with problem solving, because it can be quite random and it can be quite difficult. But I ended up being able to categorize the problems nicely, along with talking to all the students to help me out. And I've put this all into my Sigma Med BMAT course at sigmamed.co.uk. Now, step three of the plan, similar to the section two plan, was to get practice. I had two main sources of practice. The first was the BMAT section one past papers. I did all of them, but you don't have to. The second was the Oxford TSA uh, past papers. These consist of multiple choice questions, which are very similar to the BMAT section one questions with two key differences. Their thinking skills questions are slightly harder and their problem solving questions are slightly easier. So that's in summary my three step method to try and do well in BMAT section one and how I plan out my own revision. First of all, find out what BMAT section one is, the structure of it. Second of all, find out what exam techniques you need to use and find out how to do well at the questions. So for example, how to deal with tables, how to deal with fractions, how to look for conclusions. Most of this information is, can be hard to find online. At sigmamed.co.uk, we have a £25 course that teaches you all of this. And step three, like everything with BMAT, is practice as much as you can. Now, over the next few videos, I'm going to go through full walkthroughs of the 2021 BMAT paper one, two, and three. So I recommend recommending this channel to all your friends to help them with the BMAT as well. Thank you for watching.